Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, LR Majin Vegeta's Extreme Z Awakening details have officially been revealed, and I briefly looked at them before I started the recording. And I gotta say, man, <laughs> they did not disappoint with this one. They really didn't. I mean, I know some people were not exactly feeling the Int LR Gohan EZA, and I kinda get that, but at the same time, I don't feel like that was as bad as some people it it out to be, but I would be very surprised, man, if people started complaining about Majin Vegeta's EZA, because it is really, really good. I mean, I know some people are still going to complain because that's just uh, what people do, but it would really not be justified because this guy is a monster. So with that said, let's jump right into it, and uh, we're going to quickly go over his pre-extreme Z Awakening details first and then talk about the EZA details for comparison. Okay, so before the EZA, his leader skill is AGL type to keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, buff key super attack causes mega colossal damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy, which is only uh, 20%. And then the 18 key super causes colossal damage to all enemies with a rare chance to stun them, and then his passive is attack plus 150% when performing a super attack. And that's it. You know, no defense, no other extra effects, just attack plus 150%, which back in the day when he first came out was pretty ridiculous. You know, 150% attack was actually not that common on units, especially for an LR, right? So uh, yeah, he was a beast back then, but obviously these days he hasn't aged that well because you need some defense to survive in hardware events, right? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Majin Vegeta before EZ8. Now, after the Extreme Z Awakening, which is dropping on JP in about, I think a day and a half, something like that, maybe two days, very soon, leader skill becomes AGL types key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 120%, 12 key super attack, raises attack for one turn, so he gets even more attack now, causes mega cosmic damage, with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, which is 30%, so a 10% increase in stun chance. And then the 18 key super raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage to all enemies with a medium chance of stunning them. Passive, defense plus 150%. That's amazing. And I love the fact that it's not tied to the super attack, so you can you know, put him in the first slot and he'll still get some defense instead of you know, being like a slot 2 or a slot 3 unit, so that's nice. And then, attack plus 180% when performing a super attack. So before it was 150, now it's 180% attack. And then, uh, key plus 2, and reduces damage received by 20% when there's an ally whose name includes Bulma on the team. And then key plus 2, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% when there's an ally whose name includes uh, Kid Trunks on the team. And then keep plus 2 and chance performing a critical hit plus 20% when the name of an ally who is attacking in the same turn or an enemy includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded. And then keep plus 12 and performs a critical hit when HP is 30% or less once only. Okay, so a lot of stuff going on here. Basically, uh, more defense, oh sorry, more attack and then a lot more defense. A huge, huge boost for defense, and uh, you get some extra boosts if you have either a Bulma on your team, or a Kid Trunks on your team, or a Goku uh, ally or enemy. Okay, so um, the one issue I guess I would see here is that you're probably not going to be getting this too often, right? Like unless you're running uh, Vegeta's family, I guess, or... I mean, what Bulma cards are out there? <laughs> that's that's my question right now. What Bulma cards? There's not a lot of Bulma cards I could see you running with this Vegeta, but I guess you could, right? Um, I mean, I guess some people might have an issue with this, but my argument would be that you don't need his full passive to actually, you know, get a lot of use out of him, right? Like, he's still going to be a beast even... Yo, if his passive was only this... Right? If it was only attack plus 180% and defense plus 150%, it would already be really good. But 
if you have the Bulma on your team, you know, that's going to be 20% extra damage reduction. And, you know, getting a Kid Trunks on your team is going to be much easier. So there's another attack and defense plus 20% and some more key. And then having a Goku on your team is not going to be that bad either, right? It's not going to be that hard to achieve. So that's another 20% uh, crit chance as well as two more key. And, uh, of course, below 30% HP, you get that one-time uh, critical hit guarantee. Also, key plus 12. So that's pretty cool. But I really like what they did with it, man. I think they really showed this unit the respect it deserves. And uh, there's just been a lot of Vegeta love recently. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but... I mean, with the Super Vegeta becoming like the best TUR in the game, easily, and now this Majin Vegeta getting an easy A and making him one of the best units, period, in the game, probably, right? Like, I'm not gonna say top 5, but he's gonna be up there, and, uh, <laughs> it's just a great easy A, man. It's a really good easy A. I haven't seen any numbers, I haven't seen any showcases, but, um, I would imagine, you know, his damage is gonna be in the... Six, seven million range, maybe even higher if you have a uh, you know kid trunks on your team. Um, yeah, he's gonna be doing some crazy stuff. I can see it right now. I, I, I can see it right now. So, LR Majin Vegeta, easy A for you right there. Keep doing stuff like this, and uh, the community will be happy. You know. So that's Majin Vegeta. And before we go, I just want to quickly go over the easy A's for five other units that JAP is about to get to and that would be the Peppy Gals Extreme Z Awakenings for the Mai, the Android 18, the Videl, the GT Pan, and also the Fizz Youth Bulma. So why don't we start here with the Mai first and before the EZA her leader skill is AGL and int types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack, supreme damage, great chance of stunning the enemy. And passive is all allies, key plus 3, AGL types, attack and defense plus 20%, and Peppy Gals category allies, chance of performing a critical hit, plus 10%. Now with the EZA, leader skill is all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, with a great chance of stunning the enemy, and passive is attack and defense plus 100%, all allies, key plus 3, and then AGL types, attack and defense plus 20%, Peppy Gals category allies, attack and defense plus 30%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 15%. And then she also foresees enemy super attacks when HP is 50% or less. So she becomes a much better support, she gets a little bit more utility with this foreseeing of super attacks, and uh, she also gets a little bit more attack and defense. So overall, a very solid EZA for Mai. And moving on to the Android 18, pre easy A, uh, leader skill is tech and fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack, supreme damage, and raises attack and defense by 30% for 6 turns, and passive is attack and defense plus 14%, her key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 1% per Peppy Gals category ally on the team. Now with the easy A, this girl becomes pretty crazy. Her leader skill is just like my all types key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 90%, super attack supreme damage, and seal super attack, and then raises attack and defense by 30% for 6 turns. And her passive is attack and defense plus 18% per Peppy Gals category ally on the team, attack and defense plus 18% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 2% per Peppy Gals category ally on the team. So, if I'm reading this correctly, she should be getting something like attack and defense plus, is it 32% if you have a full Peppy Gals team, right? Because you can get up to 7, right? So 7 times 2, that's 14. 14 plus 18, that's 32. Uh, so is she getting an additional attack and defense plus 32% per rainbow key sphere? Or no, just, just key sphere obtained for a full Peppy Gals team. That sounds too good to be true, man. That sounds way too good to be true, but that's what it looks like to me. So if I'm misunderstanding this or misinterpreting this, somebody correct me, but it looks like she's going to be wild, man. And on top of that, she also evades enemies' attacks, including super attacks, and stuns the attack enemy when HP is 18% or less. Now, obviously, this is going to be very, very rare because uh, 
there's not going to be a lot of times where you're under 18% HP and still alive, but in the situation where, you know, you're out of items and you're almost dead, she can really, you know, come clutch and save your life, right? And uh, yeah, that's the Android 18. Now moving on to the Bedell. Before the EZ8, leader skill is int and STR types keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 15% per Peppy Gal's category ally. On the team, attack enemies attack minus 20% for two turns, recovers 20% of HP dealt, or sorry, 20% of damage dealt as HP. And her Extreme Z Awakening leader skill is all types Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, super attack raises attack, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 20% per Peppy Gal's category ally on the team, plus an additional defense plus 80% when performing a super attack. Attack enemies attack and defense minus 20% for two turns, and recovers 20% of damage dealt as HP. So uh, not too much to say here. Obviously, more attack and defense. Uh, did she stack attack before? Yeah, she didn't stack attack. So on longer events, she's gonna be. You know, getting a good amount of extra attack from her supers, which means that she's going to be an even better healer, because obviously the harder she hits, the more HP she recovers, right? So that's Videl. Now, moving on to the GT Pan. Free easy 8 leader skill is tech and STR types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack, supreme damage, and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns, and passive, chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 15%, at the start of each turn, up to 60%, attack plus 70%, and defense plus 120% for 7 turns from start of turn. Now, after the EZA, leader skill is all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, uh, super attack supreme damage, and raises attack and defense by 30% for 6 turns. And then passive is attack and defense plus 120%, chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 15%, at the start of each turn, up to 60%. And then key plus 3 plus an additional defense plus 120% for 7 turns from start of turn. So major differences of course, uh, super attack now raises attack and defense by 30% for 6 turns. And she gets some attack and defense right off the bat. And uh, what else? Uh, I think the rest is the same. Oh, so for this extra boost here, she doesn't get the attack because obviously it just made it unconditional. And... Uh, yeah, she's going to get 240% defense for the first 7 turns. So this girl is going to be a freaking brick wall, man. She's going to be impenetrable for the first 7 turns of the battle. That sounds wrong. Um, I didn't mean it that way. But yeah, she's going to be really good as a tank for sure. Now, lastly, we have the Youth Bulma leader skill before the EZA. is AGL types and Fizz types, keep plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 40%, super attack supreme damage, and recovers 8,888 HP. And then passive is key plus 4, at the start of turn, recovers 8,888 HP per rainbow key sphere obtained. Now after the EZA, leader skill, all types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, super attack supreme damage, and recovers 5% HP. And then passive is key plus 4, attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack abated, up to 50%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack received, up to 50%, and recovers 5% HP per rainbow key sphere obtained. Okay, so I think it's easy to say that out of the five girls that got Awakenings here, she definitely got the biggest upgrade, you know, because before the EZA, she was basically unusable, like she didn't really do much of anything, but now she's getting so much attack and defense, she's got the dodge chance, she's got this amazing healing, and um, you know, when she's fully built up, she's gonna be a beast, man, I mean, she's getting something like... 300% attack and defense, I think, or at least 250%, and with the way it's calculated, it's uh, probably more than that, so she's going to be a really good tank, she's going to be doing some good damage, it might take a second to actually get her fully built up, right, because you need to uh, take 5 attacks and get 5 dodges, which 
might take a while, but um, yeah, man, just compared to like what she did before, which like I said, is basically nothing. Like she, she really <laughs> was not usable and now she looks like this. So uh, another great EZA right there. I mean, all five of these were, I think, very, very well done. And this Peppy Gals team, man, just keeps looking better and better. I'm really glad I got the Videl yesterday, even though it took a lot of stones, man. If you guys missed the video, feel free to go check it out. It was uh, pretty, <laughs> it was interesting. It was interesting for sure. So go check that out. But yeah, man, I mean, with the 170% lead now from Videl and all these easy yays, and also with more additions on the way, this category is just looking really, really impressive now. So uh yeah that's gonna do it for today's video guys we got the five happy gals awakenings we got the lr maja vegeta extreme z awakening which also looks insane so uh let me know in the comments down below which of these ezas impressed you the most which one are you the most excited for i think i know the answer but you never know so uh there you have it guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.